Nizam cannot get enough of school. After learning at school in the morning, he comes to teach street connected children in a local park in the afternoon. Aisha. Suraya. Four times a week, Nizam volunteers for Lido's school under the sky and helps to educate children next to a slum. What's your name? Tanya. Tanya. This is the school of the Iska is school and they are uh, coming to slam children and uh, the children is always uh, take a garbage uh, and the parents is uh, going to work and then we come to this school out Not long ago, Nizam was one of these children learning under the sky. He experienced how far the most basic education can take him. The children are between 5 and 10 years old. In the morning, they work to contribute to the family income. But Lido street workers convinced the parents to send the children to the school under the sky in the afternoon. There are three teachers and then we uh, teach uh, Bangla, English, Math and life skills. That's like uh, living values and human values. That's our wish. Most of the children would remain illiterate without the school under the sky. Basic reading, writing and counting opens opportunities their parents did not have. For the children, the school under the sky is the only opportunity to receive education and have a perspective in life. Lido operates three schools under the sky in Dhaka. Next to giving basic education to disadvantaged children, the school serves a further purpose. The street educators get the opportunity to meet and talk to the children four times a week. Most children have lived on the street for many months and have adapted to the life on the street. A trustful relationship with a street educator is an essential first step towards rescuing these children from the dangerous streets of Dhaka. <laughs>